Hello, welcome to Words with Model Railway. My name's Mike, and we've got another Let's Build a Card kit. So, anyone that watched uh, the layout update video might be expecting either the three lane engine shed or the uh, low relief bonded warehouse because I did mention I had to get those uh, completed but I also hinted in the last video that I needed to get the scenic work completed to the left of Wordsworth station so that means another new kit was required for that section and today that's what we're going to focus on this is the Wordsworth Royal Mail building um, it should be a pretty simple build and uh, hopefully this video will help you uh, guide you through the build process as can be seen I've already got some of the uh, printed paper uh, stuck to the uh, cardstock in this case it's one millimeter cardstock I'm using today um, on these uh, first pieces so let's start with this uh, outer fascia now what we'll do is we'll uh, cut this out free it from the uh, the cardstock so we've got the rough outline then what we'll do is we'll cut out each one of these sections in turn um, then we'll do what I normally do just uh, paint with some PVA the uh, raw edges of the card just helps to tidy the kit up and give it a, a little better look when it's all put together like I keep saying you don't have to do that if you want to bypass that that's entirely up to you now cutting it out I don't normally show me cutting it out but uh, I've had a few uh, requests but basically all you have to do is get the piece you want to cut out get your steel rule line it up onto the edge that you want to do the cut make sure you get it nice and level with a fresh blade just slowly pull down trying to keep it vertical just keep going through let the blade do the work don't force it forcing a blade through card is dangerous because that's when it can slip if it slips they can go into your finger now it's as simple as that so all I'm going to do is repeat the process on all these other outlines okay that's our first section cut out what we need to do now is cut out each one of these openings and then we can move on to the next stage okay so we've got all our openings cut out you can see it uh, has a nice profile what we need to do now is get the next piece and basically cut this one out so we've got uh, wall number two cut out what we need to do is just do a test fit with wall number one Well, basically just goes on there I think that looks pretty good now the first draft I had all the doors closed uh, but I decided to actually open um, both doors on this one down here and a single one upstairs uh, you'll get a general idea how you access these top ones as the kit progresses uh, let's just say that there is some uh, hoist housings that will go above these uh, and the platform will actually sit down here like I says this sits next to Wordsworth station on my particular layout so what we need to do now is 
get some glue applied to the back. I'm just going to use some Prit PVA. Get it onto the back and then we'll clamp her in place. So we've got our platform side uh, fascia glued together. So that's the outer wall which was on one millimeter card and then uh, we've got uh, the inner wall on two millimeter card. So what we need to do is put this to one side and get the road side. Once again that's on one millimeter card. We've got the inner wall which is wall number eight on two millimeter card. The one millimeter card just so it's easy to cut through and the two millimeter card actually gives the kit some uh, some good strong structure and on this particular model I've actually designed some um, strengthening walls to go on the inside. So let's get these out of the way and we can start cutting them out. Okay so I'm going to start with wall number eight which is the inside wall. It doesn't matter which way around you cut these out like uh, on the platform side you simply cut uh, wall one out first um, and then wall two but when it comes to cutting out you can cut them out any way you want the choice is yours it's just when you come to glue them together obviously there is certain ways you have to do that so, like I said, nice and simple. I don't normally show you me cutting card out, but uh, I did say there has been a request, and it's just a steel rule cut down, just let the blade go through the card. And it pulls away just like that. Now you always hear me say use a steel rule and not a plastic one. The reason why I tell you to use a steel rule is uh, these blades can cut through plastic rules so you're far better with the steel you could use aluminium ones but uh, once again I've seen these blades take chunks out aluminium rules so that's why I have a set of steel ones but choice is yours one thing you'll never hear me say is this is the correct way or anything like that because what's correct for me might not always be the correct way you might find it easy to do something there's always other options now big pieces like that I tend to throw into uh, a scrap box You'll always find useful pieces like this, so uh, never throw any large sections of card away. And that is wall number eight cut out. You can see um, this section's different to the uh, the platform side. You'll notice there's no uh, roof apexes on this one. I just wanted to try to create a, a different style of building and once you see it together I hope you'll agree with me it is a nice looking building that we're actually building today so here we are with wall number three ignore the phone that's uh, someone just texting me uh, a message Right, what we need to do, just like we did with the other wall, cut it out from the main card 
and then we'll cut out all these openings. Actually before we go any further I've just noticed a little error I've made. I've called this wall number two. Uh, sorry wall number two. Boy I need some new glasses. Wall number eight. This is actually wall number four. There's three. This one goes with that so that's wall four. So uh, I'll put that on my little snag list to uh, update that before I upload the kit otherwise that will confuse everyone out there. So that's actually wall number four. So this is wall number three cut out from uh, the sheet. Let's get each one of these apertures cut out and then we'll do the usual acrylic paint or my usual acrylic paint like I said you don't have to uh, I just use some um, brown acrylic doesn't have to be any colour I mean this is burnt umber I'm using but as long as it just tidies the ends up I find it makes the kit look a lot more presentable so let's get these cut out okay We've got our two pieces cut out, all the openings together. Basically we'll apply some glue to the back and sandwich these two together and then we can move on to the next step. So we've got our section all clamped together Let's go make a pot of tea and have a quick brew whilst we uh, wait for these to dry. Okay, so we're moving on now. What we're going to work on is we'll cut this section off here because this needs to go on some 2mm card. These two sections here need to go on 1mm card. And this section here all wants to go onto some 2mm card. So let's get these glued and then uh, we can start cutting out. Okay, we've now got it glued to the cardstock. Uh, let's cut out walls 6 and 8 and then we'll do 5 and 7. Okay, so we've got our end pieces all cut out. All we need to do is glue that one onto there, this one onto there, and then we can actually start getting ready to uh, assemble the kit, I believe. So whilst we wait for our wall sections to, uh, to bond together and the glue to dry, let's turn our attention to this uh, in a supporting um, wall uh, that I said was in this kit just gives it a bit more stability along those um, long walls so let's cut out this 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 and the piece from the other ones here get these cut out and then we'll glue these together and then we can start building around this Okay, so we're ready to start to assemble the supporting structure for this kit. Now, you, you might probably ask yourself, do these walls go on this way, or do they go on top? Which way do they go? Well, actually, in the kit, what I've been doing uh, for a while now, is actually including a street plan or a a building plan, not a street plan, a building plan and this is the section that we're building now so it shows you how the walls actually glue and butt up to each other same with the main building and then we've got the canopy sections so let's focus on this and let's get them glued together so basically that will glue there, 
that one will glue onto there and obviously this piece will glue in like so okay so we've got the uh, structure glued together now you can see how it looks so let's put this to one side and we can get on with the outer walls now so we've got our fascia for the platform side we'll start with this what we'll do is we'll lift it up this is the strengthening strut that I was telling you about we'll glue that so that it's center of this piece doesn't have to be exact but if you can get it roughly center you know you're going to be good so what we'll do is we'll get some glue and then we'll get this together so we've got the strengthening support glued in place what we need next are the end walls and basically we'll glue those in place one there and the other one there so let me get some glue applied and get these onto the kit okay we've now got the end walls on our center supporting piece all we need now is this piece which glues in round about there so let's get some glue and get this section on so we've now got the basic part of the kit assembled all together what we need to do is just put this to one side let that glue set and then we can carry on building the kit up that's the road side that's the loading bay side and this is the platform side so as can be seen I've had to reposition the camcorder now because the kit's reached the stage where it's outgrown uh, the camera view from directly above so I've actually brought the camera to the uh, the side of me now so this is where this is where the kit sits now so what we need to do before we go any further is I'm going to cover these side edges then we'll move on to some pieces that go on to these sections here and then we can carry on with the roof build so let me get the covering strips and get those cut out so here are corner strips on the print only section what I'll do first is roughly cut out these so we'll get the steel rule get our blade and basically what we'll do is just a rough cut out doesn't have to be precise so bring it down spin around we'll get rid of this piece for now and this is the section we'll work on with the steel rule there's some red dotted lines that run down the center of these steel rule 
to line up. Basically what this does is put the crease in so we can then fold these over. I've already done the other three so what happens fold it over and it goes like so once again I like to then get the pencil just put a line so I know where we are go to the next one fold that over pencil fold her over pencil and then the last one pencil so that's them pre-folded what we need to do now is cut each individual piece out and then we're ready to glue onto the kit. Okay, we've got our corner sections cut out. They are in pairs, so make sure you get the right ones on the right end. And they're easy to tell because you obviously you've got the sloping part there for the apex. So let's get the kit. And basically what you're going to do, fold them back in half, these are going to sit on here just like so and tidies up that raw edge so you get a nice neat finish. So let me get some glue applied to these and let's get all four on so we can move on. Okay, we've got our corner coverings attached. This is the uh, roadside um, part of the building. Then if we turn it round, this is the platform side with the loading bays and docks. So now we've reached this stage, we can now transfer our attention to these apex pieces. So uh, let's get this out of the way and move on. So here are the four apex pieces, basically little triangles. What we'll do is we'll cut these out and then we can move on to the next stage which is actually applying the brick fascia covering strips to these so uh, let me get these cut out okay we've got our four sections cut out now if anyone's built the rockware glass uh, warehouse or the warehouse kit or the large uh, Wordsworth station building will recognize these straight away and know where they actually go so if you haven't built those kits this design is very very similar so let me just pull these three to one side we'll get the kit back basically these pieces glue on to the building like so So this is the section that actually gets the brick fascia. And then we'll turn round and a piece will go here. And then the next one will go here. And then the last one will go here. But before we get to the stage of gluing to the building, we need to get the brick paper onto there. So on our print only pieces, these are the covering strips we want. Once again we'll loosely cut them out because 
you'll notice there is some score lines that we have to do so we can fold these pieces over. So let me get these cut out. So we've got our covering sections cut out. Basically what you're going to do is apply glue, put it onto your section like that, lift this up, fold that one over and you end up with four of these. So let's get some glue applied and get these covered. So we've got our four apex pieces covered. You'll see we've got some lines here on this reverse side. So the building will actually glue to there. So this piece does about two millimeters actually sticking up from the apex. That's because the roof actually sits in there. So let's get some glue and get all these four applied to the building. Okay, whilst actually gluing these triangle pieces, all these fascia pieces, onto the front of the building, I suddenly realised I didn't like the join that was between the two apexes, and I thought it'd be better with a single piece. So I've been away and I've redesigned the fascia piece that actually goes on front of the building. So instead of two single triangles that butted up, now have one. And I haven't covered it yet, but I think it's going to give a better appearance rather than having this silly break that I originally designed in the kit. So I'm going to throw that piece, what we're going to do is cover this piece and then we'll carry on with the kit. Okay, we've got our modified upper platform side wall now, that's the covering strip for it. Flip the card over because this is the side we're going to glue this onto. So. Let me get some glue and let's get it covered. Okay, finally got that covered and that looks a lot better. I know it was only a small little joint on the old piece, but that now looks as though it was actually designed on the building correctly. So let's get this glue to the fascia. So finally got the fascia glued on held in place with the little bulldog clips or Boston clips depending on what you want to call them. The end pieces went on originally without any problem. I didn't have any uh, issues with those. It was just this front section. It just kept nagging me. So I've had to redesign it and uh, at least when you get yours Ignore the bit where I say the four triangles because that will still be in the video because I like to include some of the mistakes even I make and then I'll show you how to do this piece. So once this is dry we'll turn the kit round and we'll turn our attention to this piece of the roof because it's the easiest. Then we'll do the roof section on this side. It gets a little bit tricky now because we've got all these different angles that we now have to marry up. But if I get it right, when you get your kit, it'll drop straight in. So, let's start prepping the roof. So this is the main roof. Like I said, this is the prototype version. But this is the section here, down this red line that's the back part. This front part is going to need a little bit of tweaking on the uh, my version but on yours it'll be fine. So let's cut out this back section and then we'll get it covered and then we'll get it fitted to the building. Okay we're now on to the roof section. 
Now, once again, there's been a slight change to the original design. So your version will now look like this. Uh, I've decided to keep it as one piece, so we'll cut out as one. The dotted line will be the fold line, but now we've got these sections cut out so it'll all fit in in one piece now rather than two separate sections. So let's get this onto some 2mm card and then let's get it cut out. Okay we've now got it cut out. It's without its tiles at the moment but you can see how the roof section feels. What we'll do is we'll give it a test fit so I can show you. So there's the main building. It simply fits in and it'll glue down like so. So let's get this covered and then we can get it glued into place. Actually you can't see that can you? Just realised. There we go. <laughs> now you can see the roof. Boy this video you're going to think what's this idiot talking about. There we go. So now let's get it glued. Okay we've got our tiled roof coverings cut out. This is our roof. Basically what we're going to do is wrap each one of these over here like so and then that one goes on there then we can get it onto the roof so let me get glue applied to these and we can start getting them in position so we've now got the roof covering onto the roof itself all we need to do now is get the glue onto the main building and we can get this glued in place. So we've got the main roof onto the building. Now you can see how it's starting to shape up. The next part of the roof are these two sections here. So let's get this piece out of the way and concentrate on our next little piece of the roof. So these are the two pieces that I was telling you about that's going to fit here. What we need to do is get these glued to 2mm card. Then we'll score down the centre and they'll form the two apex pieces going back onto the main roof. So let me get this onto the card. So we've got our two apex roof sections for the platform side with the covering strips on. As can be seen that's how they'll go onto the building. So uh, let's get glue applied to these and get them fitted to the kit. Okay, now I've got the apex coverings in. The next task will be to put the ridge tiles across here and across here. We've then got some uh, lead stripping to go down here. And then to finish the roof section off we've got some capping stones that run down the apexes to give it a nice finish. We can then turn our attention to the uh, hoist sections which will go here, here and here and then that's the kit pretty much done and it'll be ready for the layout now like I said mine's going inside of uh, Wordsworth Station but uh, what you could do is actually have it as a separate entity and put a platform or a loading bay here 
in a loading bay at the end or you could do a wrap round loading bay um, it's quite a universal kit and I'm sure you'll find a nice space for it on your layout but before we're at that stage let's get it finished so these are our ridge tiles what we need to do is get these cut out and then we'll measure them up cut it to length and then get it glued onto the kit okay we've got our ridge detail onto the kit just need to do these gullies now and then we'll get the capping stones and that's the roof finished and just the cargo hoists to bring you up to these levels need to go on so uh, let's get the gullies done so we can move on so it's time to move on let's uh, get these um, edge capping strips cut out these are the subsections and then we've got the covering strips dotted on several of these uh, sheets so let's get these cut out so we've got our first two covering strips they're the subsections they're the top covering sections basically I've pre-folded these we'll apply glue and then they'll go in there and these fold over so let's get this done so that's the first two end covering strips done what we'll do is we'll bring back the model and then what we're going to do is glue these onto the edge so there's just a little bit of an overhang down here and the other one will go on this side and then what you do repeat this process with this side and then these two here will just need a little bit modification to fit in with this roof section and I'll show you how that's done but first let's get these glued on at the opposite end so that's the first two glued on I'll bring this round All right. let me get this other side glued on and then we'll tackle these and we've also got some gutter flashing to go down these ridges we're now on to the front um, apex covering strips and I've decided to actually do a modification to them so when you get your kit instead of getting a piece that looks like this you'll get a proper profile section that actually looks like this I just thought let's make the kit easier for the, the, the builder out there rather than having to modify their own I'll do it for you so it's, this is what you'll actually get for your version so let me get the uh, rest of these sorted and then we'll carry on with the build So we've got our first two pieces, that's what they'll look like covered. What we need to do is now glue these onto the building. So we get the building. Basically these glue on just like we did with the end coverings, these will go on here. Just like so but I think actually before we put these on 
I think if we get these lead flashing strips in these will make a neater fit over the top then so let me just put these to one side for now and we'll get these flashing strips okay we've got our flashing strips now normally when you pre-fold these you'd score down this line but it'd fold the opposite way to what we want so here's a little trip a tip trip tick tick tip dear what we're going to do is put these down with your craft knife right where those dotted lines are just cut through making little notches turn it round and you'll see what we're going to do shortly right, we've got our notches flip it over now you can see the notches on this side line your steel rule with the notch bring your scoring tool and just join those notches up with the scoring tool and what you'll find is it folds just on those lines on the opposite side right so in theory there you go once again I just like to do a pencil line so I know where I'm working right, fall back. so you're forming a V let's get these cut out now these I am going to leave you're just going to have to just modify these slightly so the fit I'll show you how that's done on, on the kit once we get these cut out so we've got our ledge strips cut out these so I'll fold it back again just so you can see what I'm going to do these will glue into these valleys now you can see it's nearly the right length all we need to do is mark that piece there that piece there and what we're going to do is make a cut line can you see that I'm going to make a cut line take this piece off and a cut line to take that little piece off and then that will glue in nice and snug which covers that little joint up and looks like flashing on a normal building so let me cut that down and then all you have to do then is repeat that process on this side this side and this side and then we will put the capping stones on because it will then cover these bottom edges so let me get this done okay we've got our lead flashing down the sides of these roof sections we've now got the capping ridge stones on all the edges we just need to turn our attention to the hoist points one goes here one goes here turn this round one goes on this end then 
that's your kit completely built and you're ready to go this will then go on my layout Wordsworth on the main station I've got uh, a, an extension platform to build for uh, my layout and I haven't decided whether I'm putting a ramp on so I can access these from vehicle access from this end or whether I'm putting steps in but that's later let's carry on with this kit and let's get these hoist points lifted built and put on so this is the hoist we've got um, two on this section needs to go on to two millimeter card apart from this side this side's your print only this side goes onto your two millimeter card and then we can start cutting these out and wrapping them with these and get them in place on our building so let me get down this line cut and get this glue to some two millimeter card so we've got our sub pieces cut out for the first canopy uh, roof hoist and it basically assembles like this so there's your front this piece glues on to the inside there the side pieces will glue in there and the back piece will glue in there so basically you're, you're building a frame and then obviously that's your other piece for the other side don't worry about the base just yet or the roof just yet we're just going to do these sections here so if we apply some glue centre it up stand it up glue them together like so see how we've got the overhang on the ends for these wall pieces now you'll notice I haven't clamped these together I've actually found this <laughs> rocket glue expensive but it grabs virtually straight away so there's no need to wait around so with that in mind we'll apply some more glue down that end and down this corner just like that get your first piece glue it in place the next piece glue it in place apply some glue just like so Now I like to lay it flat first, get them in, Oop, turn it over, Right, just put that to one side for now. What we can do is now turn our attention to this piece. Now there's a covering strip. This section here that needs cutting out and then we'll wrap this 
that can then get glued onto there we've got the covering strips for the roof section the roof can then go on we've got the ridge tile can go down the center and then the last bits are these two which just wrap around these ends to tidy up those raw edges so let's get this one out so we've got our covering strip and our uh, canopy base here what we need to do is glue this together now I like Pritt sticks for this type of work basically you bob that centre onto your piece take this away fold over fold that over there that's that covered as quick as that now obviously this is the bit that you're going to see this is the bit that will get covered actually if we turn it around it'll be that way it started to come together nicely but before we glue this onto there let's just move that to one side I want to get these edge pieces done okay these two little pieces now these are the covering strips that just get glued over these end pieces there is a left and a right so just make sure you get them right that one goes there And that one gets glued onto that corner there we're then ready to start the roof so let's get these glued in place okay we've got our corners on that's our base we'll apply some glue to the underside and just glue that in place like so so it's flush with the back we've got an overhang at the side overhang at the front and an overhang at this side starting to come together nicely let's put this to one side now and let's concentrate on this roof so we've got our attention turned to the roof now here's the roof base section roof coverings basically we're going to glue them onto there wrap it round and then we can get that onto the hoist so let me get this done so that's our roof section covered pretty simple we now take our roof or not our roof our roof and our building basically lay it flat and we're going to wrap that round the main building canopy like so so let me get glue applied I'm going to use some of this quick setting rocket glue again must say the more I use this stuff the more I really like it The only thing I don't like is the price, but I suppose for a good product. Right, and you don't need a lot. 
like I said, get that flat, get your roof, centre it up, just fold it over. And it's as simple as that. That looks rather smart, I think. We'll just do the ridge tan and then we can get this glued onto the main building and you just need to replicate that two more times for the remaining two canopy sections. So we've got the ridge tile on. That's this section all complete. Let's get some glue applied. And if we bring the building back up, this is going to sit round about there. We'll do another one for here. And then your last one will go on the end of the building like so. So let's get this glued. So that's the first hoist section in place. I mean, I'm quite happy how this kit's coming together. Now, when you get your kit, your, your parts will be 100%. What you have to remember is this is the prototype build. Hence why, as I've been going through the video, there's been a few little tweaks that I've made. Just so when you get this kit, it's as easy as it can be to go together. So, let's get the remaining two of these. That's this kit finished and out of the way. So I've now got two of the canopy hoist sections onto this kit. We just need the last one for this end. And it's starting to take shape. How I actually thought it would look when I started building it in coral draw. So just this last one to get on here and uh, I believe the kit is ready to go. Okay so we've now got the kit completed. We've got that third lifting hoist canopy cover in place. Give it a turn around so you can get a good view. Now I'm quite happy how my version's turned out. And I can't wait to get this onto the layout. But it's going to fit in just lovely where I wanted this to be on platform one. Now I'll get the kit ready to upload onto the website. Um, the way things are going it might be another week or so. Um, because I'm still working. Um, and I'm only getting a couple of hours on the kits but I uh, hope you enjoyed the build oh, I hope you've had a giggle at uh, some of the footage I was going to edit uh, the errors out but I prefer to show these kit builds just as they happen 
they're all live so nothing's taken out what you see is what uh, what's being built and your version will have all the modifications I've done to this kit so I hope you can find a spot for it on your layout and I'll catch you uh, in another episode. It's bye for now.